Guys, this is my new laptop uh, or Ultrabook NP350U2B and I'm gonna make a quick little tutorial on how to open it up and uh, the reason I'm opening it up right now is because I wanna switch the 500 gig hard disk that came with this uh, with my 40 what do you say my 40 GB uh, solid state drive so here goes okay first thing you need to do is you know it's obvious go ahead shut it down is the key to opening up any device is make sure that you don't rip off any what do you say warranty stickers possible and make sure you keep the damage to a minimum I'm using a star screwdriver and I'm just gonna open up all the screws right now I'm gonna unscrew it up you see this uh, the part where the what do you say the laptop opens up okay uh, the hinges and right below the hinges you've got I mean right below the hinge you've got uh, these pads over here the rubber pads and those two pads we need to actually remove them okay uh, not the other two not the ones by the keyboard but the ones by the hinge so how you how we do that take a flathead screwdriver and just pop it in and just pop the pad right out I've already done one okay and it pops right out just keep it somewhere now go back to the uh, star screwdriver and now we need to get these screws out I'll be back once I'm done with that. Okay guys, now that we've got all the screws out, what we need to do is we need to get a flathead screwdriver. Okay, and you need to start at the side right below the keyboard. Okay, uh, all you need to do is just kind of pop it in, pop the flathead screwdriver in, and apply some pressure, start at the sides, or wherever you feel comfortable, just push at the you know the black part with your finger a little bit and push the put the flathead inside and you should be able to pry it open and just keep sliding the flathead through it don't worry you're not gonna break anything so and you will hear these pops that doesn't mean you're breaking something that means you're just doing it right so don't worry about it that's expected so this side is done and again apply some pressure and they should come up as well the top part I suggest you keep the uh, ultra book close to this point because you know I don't want I don't want you scratching the screen with the what do you say the screwdriver guys the key here is you know hold it apart and keep trying to pop the white, the black part out okay that will make it a lot easier than trying to pop the white one out uh, what I mean is do not push at it this way it's gonna be difficult to open push it in and push it up push it in and push it up 
So once three sides are open it should be pretty easy. And that's it. It comes off. This is what you end up with. This is the hard disk that exists over here. And we need to remove this hard disk and I'm going to replace it with a solid state drive that I have lying around. Stopping me from doing that are four screws over here. Uh, this one, this one, I guess this one. So I'm just going to take these screws off and I'm going to use a star screwdriver for that again. So let me get that out now. Okay, now I've got these screw, three screws out. And once the screws are out, all you need to do is just lift it up slowly and slowly pull it out. And that's it, the hard disk is out. So now let me just quickly go and get my solid state drive and I'll be back with you guys. Okay guys, here you can see I've got my Intel solid state drive. And uh, there's one thing that you need to notice. Um, the hard disk over here is in its own casing. Uh, there is a protective shield kind of thing that's that Samsung has provided. So we need to remove that as well before we start switching the hard, uh, switching the hard disks. So again, you've got screws over here. You just need to get them off. So let me just quickly do that. Okay guys, I just got the screws off right now. Uh, and the hard disk comes off. Okay, so it's just a normal 2.5 uh, inch hard disk uh, with this casing on. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and install my Intel SSD onto this. Okay, so we just got to have to, you know, slide in your hard disk the way it was and just screw it in. Any uh, 2.5 inch hard disk or SSD would have these holes that you need to line up and just put the screws back back on so I'll get, uh, get done with this and I'll be back it's not that the uh, what do you say <clears throat> solid state drive is in uh, its casing We've got or uh, whatever hard drive you're replacing it with isn't isn't the case. What you need to do is just pop it back in, and make sure you don't push it too hard because this feels a little flimsy. So I'm just gonna you know keep my finger over here for support, and I'm gonna slide this back in. And there we go. And just make sure it's secure. Just make sure that it's seated properly because you don't want to have to open it up again in case you've not got it right and now we need to put these three screws back on and guys just so you don't make a mistake I mean these are the silver screws these are the only silver screws that we removed okay these are not the black ones the black ones go back and after we put the back cover back on so and ju just to show you a difference the silver screws are a lot shorter than the black ones so you do not want to have want to put the black ones in I mean if you put the black ones in by mistake don't worry it's not gonna hurt because I've made the mistake already so that's the reason I'm telling you this so I'm just screwing it back on Okay, and that's done. Just make sure they're secure. They're secure. Okay, now that it's all popped in, what we need to do is put the back up, back cover back on. So, again, uh, just make sure you check the way it's gonna go. The easiest way to find, figure that out is, you know, the vent over here goes through, goes over this fan. So, keep it over here and pop it back into place. And that will go back in without much effort, so don't worry about it. You can be rough at this point of time, it doesn't matter, because it's just popping it back into place and that's, and that's done. <coughs> and if you can see, not 
no damage done to the ultrabook you cannot see any of the markings apart from in a few over here that's because I was experimenting finding a way to pop it out easier so if you follow this tutorial you should not see any markings at all so now it's time to put these nine screws back in uh, if you're gonna be I mean if you are a little bit paranoid and you wanna see if you've done a right, done the job right you can just go ahead turn the tablet I mean sorry I've been dealing with tablets for a long time uh, turn the ultrabook back on uh, before you screw these into place so that you know in case you've not in case the drive is not seated properly or something you don't have to unscrew everything again so let me just screw or put you know put these screws in place and get back to you okay guys so <clears throat> once you've got once you've got all the screws back in you just need to pop the pads back into place uh, once you're done the ultrabook is back I mean ready to be turned on so okay I just popped something back in now just hit the button and you're, going, you're, prob you're probably going to get an error and it's not going to boot up because you don't have an operating system on it yet so uh, see it's going to say it says reboot and select proper boot device or insert boot media and selected boot device and press a key so that's it for this tutorial guys I uh, hope uh, I was of help to you guys uh, and the next thing I'm gonna do with my tablet right I mean um, I've been working with tablets too long the next thing I'm gonna do with my ultrabook is that I'm gonna uh, install Windows 7 ultimate uh, version the 64-bit version uh, via USB drive and uh, I'll make a tutorial on how to go about doing that uh, and after that I'll make another video tutorial on uh, uh, how to run Windows 8 the developers version uh, via USB drive so the link should be popping up right now so just click on them to go to whichever uh, whichever tutorial uh, it is that you want to go to so thanks a lot for watching guys uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe uh, to my videos uh, you, if you have any questions, you know, mail me at uh, ash at cursedforever.com. That's A S H at C U R A C T, the number 4 E V A dot com. Or you can send me a message on Twitter at uh, Cursed Forever. Uh, once again, that's uh, thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye bye now.